at Penarice now. It's picked up by Jared. He lost it to Ferguson. It's in the clear. Ferguson right in on goal. He did score! He was really courageous. He loves the game. He loved to play hockey. He loved the guys. We've got John Ferguson with us now. Congratulations, John. Thank you, Carl. Thank you. Thank you he really had to uh, compete and battle for everything that he got. And it was no different once he got to the NHL. So, you know, that, you know, that kind of success against many odds, I think is uh, real indicative of his courage. Now, Bellavo and Lee pass for Ferguson down with Cornwallier. Ferguson in on the left side. He scores! I know he won't be recognized at the Hockey Hall of Fame level, but uh, we won a few Stanley Cup because of John Ferguson in Montreal. Hard as a rock on the outside. Soft as soft ice cream on the inside. Front of the net, Ferguson takes the shot. It's gone. Courage, defined as the mental and moral strength to venture, persevere, and withstand danger, fear, or difficulty. John Ferguson played with the Montreal Canadiens from 1963 to 1971. Many considered you the heavyweight champion of the NHL. Did you ever think about this, or did it mean anything to you? Well, probably did, Bob. I wanted to be the meanest, dirtiest son of a gun that ever played the game. And, uh, and believe me, uh, I was ready to win every game the same way. I know. <laughs> His teammates loved him. Other players feared him. John was a great teammate. Everybody loved John. He loved to win. And then, you know, that's why he was not good just because of his roughness, but he was a good hockey player. He was tough, but he was, you know, was playing fair. And he was also playing regular. A lot of tough guys in today's hockey don't play regular. Playing left wing with a competitive streak like no other, John Ferguson played on five Stanley Cup teams. Always a potential offensive threat. He led all NHL rookies in scoring in his first season and finished as runner-up for the Calder Trophy in 1963-64. He scored the Stanley Cup winning goal in 1969 during a season that saw him score a career-high 29 goals. He loved our team and uh, he would give everything for us. A lot of players in the dressing room uh, looked up to him, even players like uh, Jean Beliveau. In Montreal, uh, after Rocket Richard, he was probably the most popular player. In 2005, Ferguson was diagnosed with prostate cancer. John stared down the disease and fought it with every fiber in his being. With his positive outlook and competitive fire, he was determined to win the battle and had the support and loyalty of family and friends. There was a long time there where he was supposed to have, you know, maybe um, 48 hours, uh, and it turned into weeks. About a couple of weeks before he died, we went to Windsor, and uh, he was still confident of beating it. You know, and that was at the end. And uh, he, uh, he says, I'm going to win this fight. I'm going to win this fight till the last minute. He fought. You know, certainly I was not surprised that, that uh, he was, you know, he went down fighting, let's say, uh, you know, and, and was there for a you know, lot long, longer than, than uh, probably he should have been. John Ferguson succumbed to cancer on July 14, 2007, but the impact he's had on the lives of those around him is as powerful now as it was 40 years ago. I think the uh, only loss he had is with his cancer. I miss, I miss my friend, I miss my best friend. He was a tremendous friend, just a tremendous friend. And, you know, miss him dearly. He just really had a passion for life, and, and he, he lived a lot more many years than he actually had uh, calendar years. Courage. It also means to show oneself strong, to have spirit. It is a virtue highly esteemed among all people, and it is the courage shown every day by the thousands of Canadian men afflicted by prostate cancer. It is the virtue displayed by those who have joined the battle to defeat this disease and whose commitment and dedication will surely make a difference. We salute the recipients of the John Ferguson Memorial Award for Prostate Cancer Canada. The character of number 22 lives on in your heart and your soul.